Hi YouTubers and subscribers, and number one, I bet you're wondering, what is Starry Hilder doing in front of all of those canning jars? Well, this is not a canning video surprise. Um, this is a video, though, for you people who have been coming to my channel, and I really, this is so exciting. You're getting so serious about becoming self-sufficient, getting out of debt, and really taking the bull by the horns and doing something and really preparing now. So what we wanted to do is start kind of a series that showcases little uh, tips and tricks on how to get off the grid with your thinking because that's what it's really about. You don't have to be off the grid. You, you can do this in, in, in suburbia, you can do this in an apartment, but the bottom line is you have to change how you think. And if you want to be debt free and you're really striving to be more independent and self-sufficient, it starts with number one, practical purchases. This is where we get into trouble. You know people, we nickel and dime ourselves to death. We make frivolous purchases that offer nothing in return. And when you decide that you want to become self-sufficient, you have to look at things so differently. All your purchases, um, I would say 90% of them, really should be looked at as a life insurance policy for, for you. Because what does a life insurance policy do? It gives you returns. Returns on your investment. What does frivolous purchase do? They don't give you anything in return. They just pile up in the closet. They just pile up in your garages. Women, you know, you go to your Kohl's, you go to your, your Macy stores, you go to your Target stores, and you know what? You buy a lot of stuff you probably don't need. I, I know this. You know, the makeup, the fancy shampoos, the, the outfits and the shoes and the purses that you don't need. And men, it's the same thing. You go to... Uh, I know, I've seen all the hunting stuff, the frivolous hunting stuff. I've seen all the extra athletic equipment that you never use. You know, there's a lot of stuff that men do, too, with their purchases. They can be just as wasteful. Both of you are just as wasteful. This is how Americans are. Why do you think we have so much debt? And why do you think people have credit card problems? Okay, I'm being real here. So, you want to be debt-free. You want to be self-sufficient. It starts with the little things. And the little things are practical purchases. Just the other day, we went to the grocery store. This is a prime example. And I was watching what people were putting in their grocery carts. And, okay... You know, I know everybody has their likes in what they eat and everything, but think about this if you're really serious. 24-pack of Coke Mountain Dew, all those pops, I couldn't believe how much they cost when I went and looked at the price. $7.99. $7.99 for pop that you, you suck up and you throw away. And you suck up another one and you throw away. That's a disposable purchase, okay? Because... Think about this. 24 packs, $7.99. Remember those canning jars? Here they are. Okay. Guess how much the canning jars were at the hardware store? $7.99. And guess how long these babies are going to last me? They're going to last me till the day I die. And then you know what? They're still going to outlast me after my death. And this is the thing. This is a pack of Coke. 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 Coke, 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 Coke. And I get to fill these up with food and put them on my pantry. And you know what? I didn't just buy one. Because one is none and two is one. So, yeah, I I went all out. So, you know, okay, say you really like pop. That's fine. But instead of stocking up on pop, you can't tell me you can't stock up on canning jars. So this is what I want you people to do. I want you to get smart because this is your investment. The same thing with bigger purchases. So many people say, well, I can't afford a chainsaw. I can't afford a, a Wonder Mill grinder. Well, you know what? When we started, we couldn't afford those things either. But guess what we did? We saved. And little by little by little, we got that chunk of money. And then what did we do? We would buy those things for us. And you know what? Now we have a chainsaw. Now we have a Wonder Mill, a grinder. And I'm saving money on flour. And I'm not going to the store and buying all that crap anymore. And my husband, chop, 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 chop. He's out there chainsawing wood, free wood to heat the house. 
pays for itself. So your purchases that are bigger, really, that is the best life insurance policy for you because that's going to give you tenfold back once you do either go off the grid or start your own homestead. And it can give you returns right now today. So that's what I really wanted to focus on today in this video is practical purchases. Show you my canning jars and really get you guys to think because it's important. And the other thing is my husband made some really good purchases this week too. And he's going to share with you, and we're going to kind of do a little demo. But he's right on board with the same mentality. So if you're married, you got to get together on this, okay? It just can't be the man thing or the woman thing. It's got to be both of you as a team in order to be successful. And if you're single, yeah, you're, you could really get ahead of the game because you just got yourself, all right? So let's go see what my husband's doing because he believes not just in one is none and two is one. He believes in... A lot. <laughs> okay, okay so now along. moving on to the next exciting purchases that we made, or I should say my husband made. Uh, he doesn't believe in two is one and one is none. He believes that three or four is well worth the purchase. So what he did, uh, this is a, a pruning saw, and I'm going to have him do the demo and talk about it, but just real quickly, he ordered a four. Uh, there's one short, but the reason why he ordered four is on Amazon you can get these. They're so affordable. You order four, you get free shipping, and the cost of these at a hardware store is close to $30, but I believe, how much did you spend on these? You know, uh, I found them on sale. Um, cheap. It wasn't on Amazon. It was a different place. I can't oh, remember, but it was like 23 and some odd change. We'll, we'll get the link. Okay. Um, Obviously, they're autumn because I ordered four and they only sent me three. And so what is the deal? Because this one looks like it's about 100 yeah. years old. One, so. I bought this one about 15 years ago. Wow. This is my main saw. I carried my truck and I used it a lot for hunting, um, cutting campfire wood. Um, when I go climb up a tree, set my tree stand up, this is my go-to saw right here. Didn't you, like, lose it for a year? Yeah, and then I lost it. Um, I set it down somewhere in the woods. You know those, how yeah. those deals go. And, of course, it's got a green handle on it. <laughs> and uh, I forgot about it. Well, I went back to that place I was hunting in that area and I thought hey I wonder if that saw is around by that tree it's the last time I remember using that and saw guess what? and there it was laying there it was a little rusty but, <laughs> but it still worked it still works and, and I've cut a, uh, another 50 trees with this thing so you're impressed by this saw because uh, we, and and this is the thing we have we have two chainsaws yep but if we if if there is no gas available we need to cut wood somehow and okay we've got a bucking saw right yeah, and we've, we've got, got some other saws stuff. that's not the point the that's point is um, the bottom line is you can, no gas, uh, whatever, you can you can still cut some firewood and stay warm. Yeah. And these are affordable. Affordable, people. Everybody can have one. $23? This is a couple cases of Coke. <laughs> a couple cases of Coke. <laughs> that you're going to drink away. I just didn't drink any pop for a couple weeks. <laughs> I just drink, you don't drink any pop. I just drink water. <laughs> He's being goofy now. <laughs> But anyway, so what we're going to do is these babies do really work. The brand is Corona Professional, but um, and, and it, does it make any difference what brand you think? I, well, I like the Coronas. It seems to be that they're the, they're the cheaper. I mean, there's some really expensive ones out yeah. there. But for the, for the price, $23, the price, okay. I mean, I found no reason to... <laughs> well, I've abused that one beyond belief. Yeah, um, and we're going to show you right now how it works uh, because this is going to be incredible. He is going to saw through this big fat log here, and we picked a big fat log because yeah, you look at that little saw and you think there's no way I'm going to be able to cut firewood. Now, granted, uh, when you're using the saw and and say something like the SHT hits the fan or your chainsaw breaks and you don't have a buck saw, this little saw is very good for about that size. You could you can saw through it real quick. Quick, 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 quick. Put yeah. it in your wheelbarrow and, and right. Heat. Yeah, wheelbarrow. Um, heat up your house. In this climate here, a wheelbarrow yeah. is about uh, four days in pretty cold weather, four days um, yeah. in our house to keep us warm. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to have um, Stacy. Oh, yeah, me. <laughs> show you how to cut this piece of firewood here. I cut that big giant manly piece there. Yeah, so, yeah. And so we're going to show you, you know, everything. Oh, big, you know, he's, he's a guy. He cut through that. Well, we're going to demonstrate on uh, a more normal sized piece of wood right here, and we're gonna oh, have a woman do it. That's a good idea. Okay, here we have the professional logger. Well, I don't know if I'm a professional, but here's a good point. If you're a woman and you live by yourself, purchase one of these saws. Um, as you can see, I'm not putting a lot of effort into it. It cuts through really easily, and it's so affordable. Look at this. You don't have to be a big burly guy. 
to use a saw like this because the saw does the work. So if you're a woman, this is a really great purchase. If you're a man, this is a really great purchase. I just proved it. Look at that. Woohoo! I'm a lumberjack. <laughs> Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed the impromptu uh, lumberjack uh, uh, sawing demo uh, by Starry Hilder. And but, <laughs> but seriously, you guys have to get off the grid with your thinking because that is what is going to get you on the path to self-sustainability. Again, I don't care if you're off-grid, on-grid, in the city, in the suburbs, it does start today. And so many, again, are coming to me and saying, how do I get from point A to point B where Starry Hilder is? Well, here's the first bit of advice. Listen, listen, listen to what we have to say. Now, we're going to be making a lot more videos and kind of a series uh, for a lot of you newbies out there who do want to get to, from point A to point B and get off the grid with your thinking. And we're going to help you do it, okay? So watch for the series. Watch for more practical uh, bits of information. We're going to keep them short and sweet, but hopefully you'll develop a nice library and it will get you on your way today. All right. Thank you guys for coming. I'm getting so many new subscriptions and, and you people, all the feedback. I love you guys. God bless you all. You're just really waking up. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. If you haven't subscribed and you just found me, welcome and thanks for joining us. And share, share, share the videos because it really does help our channel grow. And that's what I really want. I want our channel to grow and I want to reach out to as many people out there as I can. All right, thanks again for watching and come back soon.